Okay, so there's an upgrade to my uh, bench grinder, homemade. It's from, from a treadmill motor. I originally had it powered by a laptop power supply, uh, 36 volt, 1 amp. So I, you know, couldn't put a whole lot of pressure on the wheel before the power supply would shut down. I'd have to unplug it, plug it back in. But uh, I now have a powerful DC motor controller um, for free, of course, because anybody who can maybe scrap, I suppose, can build their own, but it's basically at your own risk. Uh, this here really only just took me a screwdriver and a couple of marettes to figure out. So it's a, uh, as you can see the panel here, I've taken the panel off of a treadmill. All the electronics are up underneath that come with the treadmill to run the motors. I've actually got both hooked up because the bottom motor, I believe, has the sensing equipment for bogging down and can correct. Uh, it's interesting, it does affect the top motor as well. I can actually spin the bottom motor by hand and the top motor rotates a little bit. So they are directly connected DC motors. DC motors can be uh, generators if you turn them. Uh, so I guess if I spun that bottom motor fast enough, my stone would uh, spin. I have one issue with the stone, as you can see, cracks in it. So I, I was never upset about using the, th the 36 volt uh, 1 amp power supply because it never spun this thing with any force. Um, but this here will spin this thing up and explode that stone. So I'm keeping the other motor as well because I'd like to put a buffer or uh, maybe a better stone. Uh, take the one off of there. This one was JB welded onto the flywheel. I got the stone at a thrift store. I believe it was a cup stone maybe for grinding floors or something, uh, concrete floors. But... Uh, I found a use for it, and it is coarse. I mean, it's got to be around 40 grit or something. So if I use it on any knives, it's like, chews them up. And, anyways. Always unplugged while you're working on stuff. Unless you're, of course, working on... using the grinder. I've used it plenty of times and I know where about I can set it. Way more powerful and it compensates. If I push harder it it uh, increases the voltage just enough. I'm going to slow her down. I can run it, my stone at any speed. Now, it looks like it's going very fast, but it's not. And you hear it, the motor grinding up, it's compensating and giving more power to that. So I, I leaned into it, it would uh, compensate and let, let me put a good heavy grind into it and still keep my stone running at a slow speed until I can get a safer stone I'm not going to be able to uh, rev that thing up for you this motor is also spinning I have to put a cover over it or something so I don't get snagged but uh, I do want to put a buffer on it and an on off switch for either motor and then um, I should be able to stop this motor from spinning around my legs and you know just for fun it's kind of funny it's got a uh, heart rate monitor so we can see gee I'm running at 79 so pretty slow I'm even got a little chart for your workout but uh, 72 calming down there is an incline motor I took off yeah, it's very, it runs like at 
24 or 40 yard revolutions per minute. I think it was AC, but maybe it was DC. Reset button. Doesn't seem to reset this. But if I unplug it, here, we'll leave it on. And I'll unplug it. Now when you plug it back in, it's nice and safe. Even though you got your um, speed up, it doesn't, even if I reset it, it doesn't start it up. You have to take it back down. That's because you're usually standing on the treadmill and they want you to start slow. See, now that's slow. So basically did it all with a screwdriver. I'm not really allowed to work around power equipment, so it's nice that I can have a very slow stone so I don't hurt myself. And if I have some kind of a seizure or something goes wrong and I hit the wheel, it'll stop because I'm running it slowly and not running a super huge speed. But that's it. A powerful DC motor controller. I'd like to show you revving her all up to speed, but I've got that slow stone on it. So this is an upgrade, a very nice upgrade to uh, my treadmill motor grinder. So now I've got a DC motor controller for all DC motors I can run. So many different DC motors now because it's got the high amp draw. So I can make my own buffers and grinders and you know, we do what we can.